This video is about interpolation. Interpolation is the method we use to calculate the median or the quartiles from grouped data. So it's an estimate for the median or the quartiles because we don't know the actual values. So here we've got speeds in miles per hour and you'll notice that there are gaps in between our groups. So we've got a group of 21 to 25, and then 26 to 30, and then 31 to 35. With speed being continuous data, we can't have any gap between them. So the upper class um, boundary for the first group has got to be the same as the lower class boundary for the second group. So we're gonna change these we can say that these speeds here have been rounded to the nearest whole number and we need to change them so there is no gap. So the lower bound of the lower class boundary and the upper bound of the upper class boundary and we will get a new set of groups that don't have any gaps. Okay, so we're going to be looking for the median in this question. And it's useful to have a cumulative frequency column in order to do this. So if we create a cumulative frequency column, so cumulative frequency adds up the frequency as we go. So in the first group, we've got 12. Then we add on 21. So that makes it 33. Then we add on 8, which makes it 41 and 7. So 48 and then plus 2 is 50. So we're looking for the median. Because we've got a high number, 50 or above, we can just half it. So we're going to say we're looking for the 25th value. Now we're going to identify what group the 25th value is in. So we've got 12 in the first group. And then the second group goes up to 33. So it must be somewhere in the second group. So between 25.5 and 30.5. How far into the group do we need to go? So we're starting at 12 and we need to go up to 25. So we're going 13 in to this group. So what interpolation does is it imagines that this group, the 25.5 to 30.5, is split into 21 parts because there's 21 in there. And we're going to go 13 parts into the group. So what that means, we can write that down as a, lit, as a formula. We can say the lower class boundary so we're going to start at 25.5, the lower class boundary, plus how many in? So how many into the group? Over how many in total? So group total. So 13 out of 21. We're going to go 13 21sts into the group times the class width. So how wide is the group? 25.5 to 30.5, so it's five wide. So let's change these to numbers. So the lower class boundary is 25.5. We want to go 13 into the group out of 21. So this is the fraction we're going in and it's five wide. And then we can just type this into the calculator and it will tell us our estimate for the median. And to three significant figures, we get 28.6, it's miles per hour. Okay, here we've got another question. Again, we're going to find 
an estimate for the median. So we've got group data again, and we've got gaps in between our groups. So we need to change them to eliminate the gaps. So we're going to have the lower bound of the lower and the upper bound of the upper. And we can see that all of these class widths are 10 this time. We'll also add the cumulative frequency column. So we've got 20 in the first group, add 34 for the second group, add 41, add 13, and add 2. So we've got 110 in total. And so for the median, we're just going to half it and say we're looking for the 55th value. Where is the 55th value? So we've got 20 and then 54. So it's in the third group. So we were up to 54. We need to get to 55. So we're going to say we're going to go one in. So we want one in to the third group. And again, we're going to use the same formula. So the lower class boundary, which is 30.5, plus how many in? 1 out of how many? 41 times the class width, which is 10. So we'll just type it into the calculator. And we get to 1 decimal place or three significant figures We've got 30.7 it's thousand pounds so we can say 30,700 to three significant figures and that's pounds Okay, we've got a similar question here, but it says calculate an estimate for the interquartile range. So this time we're going to work out the quartiles. Apart from that, it's the same sort of question. Again, we've got gaps between our groups, which we cannot have. So we're going to change the upper and lower class boundaries. And we're going to add a cumulative frequency column. So we add up as we go along. So 9 plus 17 is 26. Plus 24 is 50. Plus 9 makes 59. Plus 1 is 60. So we need to work out the quartiles. So if we have the lower quartile, so 60 divided by 4, is 15, so it's the 15th value, and then for the upper quartile, we'll divide by 4, so 15, and then times by 3, so the 45th value. So the lower quartile, I'm looking for the 15th value, so we've got 9 and then 26, so it must be in the second group. And we were at 9, we need to get to 15, so we're going to go 6 into the second group. So the lower quartile is 6 in to the second group. And then interpolation is the same. It doesn't matter if we're working out a quartile or a median. It's the lower class boundary. Plus how many in? 6 out of how many? 17 times the class width, which in this case is 5. So we'll type that into the calculator. And to three significant figures, I've got 61.3. But I'm going to keep the whole number stored in the calculator, because I'm going to be using it again to find the interquartile range. Now the upper quartile, we're looking for the 45th value this time, so we're at 9, then 26, then 50, so it must be in the third group, 
we are at 26. So how many do we need to go in? How many from 26 to 45? That is 19. So 19 in. And again, the same formula. So the lower class boundary. So 64.5 now. Plus 19 in out of 24 times the class width, which is 5 as well. So type into the calculator. We have 68.5 to three significant figures. But again, going to keep the whole number in the calculator. So the integral to our range is our 68.5 answer. But I'm going to use the whole number. Take away our 61.3 answer. But I'm going to use the whole number. And that gives me well, 7.1936. So if we do three significant figures, it's 7.19. Okay, here's another question. Pause the video, give it a go, and press play when you're ready to go through the answer. So we need to change our class boundaries to get rid of the gaps between them, because we can't have gaps with continuous data. So I'm taking the lower bound of the lower boundary and the upper bound of the upper boundary. And then I'm going to complete the cumulative frequency column. So 10, 10 plus 27 is 37. 37 plus 25 is 52. 62, 62 plus 16 is 78, and 78 plus 2 is 80, that is a 6, I'll rub it out and rewrite it, that's 62. Okay, we're going to work out the lower quartile, which is going to be the well, 80 divided by 4. So 20th value, and the upper quartile, which is 80 divided by 4 and times by 3. So the 60th value. So where is the 20th value? So I've got, 20, I've got 10 and then 37. So I'm going to the second group. I was at 10. I need to get to 20. So it's 10 into the second group. So the lower quartile is the lower boundary, 20.5, plus 10 20 sevenths times the class width, which is 10. And that gives me 24.2 um, to three significant figures. But I'm going to store the number in the calculator because we're going to use it again. And the upper quartile, we're looking for the 60th. And that is in the third group. So we were at 37. We need to get to 60. So we're going 23 in. So 23 in to the third group. So that's the lower class boundary plus 23 20 fifths times the class width, which is 10, 39.7. And then the integral to our range is 39.7. Take away the whole answer for the lower quartile. And that gives us 39.7. Take away 24.2, and that gives us 15.5 to three significant figures.